Hi, welcome to the Back to the Roots Yoga Practice. Today we will work in legs, hips, and hamstrings. It will be a nice flow to strength and stretch your body. So let's start laying down into your back. Start laying down into your back to wake up your legs and your hips. So I start with the feet about hip distance apart and just come on your back. Uh, and you are there. Start to just close your eyes or soften your gaze. We will start first just connecting with yourself to make a mindfulness practice just to be with you to check what is happening, what you move, how your body feels. That's the idea with yoga, just to be with you with connection, body, soul, and mind. Whatever that means for you. you just, and then as you are there, with your eyes closed, just check how you feel. Feel your breathing. Feel your body, how your body feel today. And let's inhale. Open, feel the expansion of your body. Your chest is opening. And as you exhale, feel how your body relax. You exhale through the nose or through the mouth, whatever feels good for you. Actually, let's practice both and then you decide what feels good for you. Inhale through the nose. Hold. Exhale through the mouth. Again, inhale through the nose. Hold. Exhale through the nose. And just continue with yourself, just feeling your breathing. And then you have your eyes closed, just open your eyes. And then next inhale, open your legs a little wider. And exhale, bring your knees to your chest and the knees are wider. Then send the sole of your feet to the sky, bring your hands to the side. Just try not to use your hands so you make the legs work. Arms to the side. And then we move to one side and then the other side. Try to check that your lower back is on the mat and just to feel that you are massaging your lower back. And breathe here. Then exhale, come back to center. Bring your knees and bring your knees about hip distance apart, and bring your knees to your chest, and then solo your feet into the mat. Knees to your chest, solo your feet into the mat. Knees to your chest, solo your feet into the mat. Knees to your chest, stay there. Listen, we are not using your hands. We are just making the legs work by itself, and then extend the legs to the sky. Press to your heel, your toes are pointed to you. And let's move to the ankles, one side. And then the other side. Spread your fingers, move your fingers, spread fingers, close and open. And bring your knees into your chest. Let's rock and roll again to one side and then the other side. And find the strap, the belt. So, grab the strap with both hands, send the legs to the sky and bring the strap to the sole of your feet. Press to your heel, your toes are pointed to you and you grab the strap from each side. Let's breathe here, feel in the back, the legs stretching. If you, if your legs uh, are cannot be where are they here. You can stay with the legs extended back here. Try to have that 
uh, the knees completely extended. Just find the place and breathe here. Inhale, and as you exhale, with the right hand, grab the strap and extend, release the left leg and extend the left leg into the mat. Right leg is extended. Keep sending the leg as close as you can and trying to keep the knee uh, completely extended. You keep all that muscle working. And, I mean, you, you don't need to, to stress about that. Just fine. This is your practice. This is for you. Just check how you work, what is best for your body. Inhale, and as you exhale, right leg to the right side. You still keep the strap with the right hand. And the next inhale, come back to center, grab the strap with the left hand, send the leg to the right. Stop when you feel too much distress in your leg or in your hips, gaze to the right and breathe. And the next inhale, leg to the sky to exchange. This time you uh, solo the left foot is on the strap, grabbing the strap with both hands, extend the right leg long into the mat, press to your heel, your toes are pointing to you, stay there and breathe. Remember, just find the place where you can have the knee completely extended. It could be this, the place for me is around here. It could be here for you, it doesn't matter, it's your practice. Stay where you feel the most comfortable, and where you feel some stretching, and breathe here. Remember to breathe, to connect with that sensation in your body. Let's inhale and you exhale, grab, the, grab the, um, the strap with the left hand and you send the leg to the left. Breathe here. And then the next inhale, extend the leg to the sky, come back to center. With the strap, grabbing the strap with the right hand, you send the leg to the left. Inhale, come back to center, release the strap, bring your knees into your chest again, and then come back, solo your feet into the mat. Let's wake up that spine and hips, then press to the solo of your feet, dynamic bridge. Inhale, bring your hips up, arms overhead, exhale, arms to the side, and hips down. It's up and down. We do it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stay up, inhale, and as you exhale, hips down, Subtavakanasana, solo your feet together, open your knees, and try to see if you can find a cactus hands with your arms. You bend the elbows, arms to the side. Stay here, pressing the elbows into the mat, pressing the shoulders, feeling the stretch there. And then let's close the knee. Open the knees, close the knee, open the knees. And then you do it fast or slow, just adding movement to this area. Your legs, inner side of your legs, your hips. And come back, bring your knees together. And listen, normally when you have the feet about hip distance apart, uh, you feel the lower back a little arch there. So my invitation is pre uh, let's work to wake up that uh, lower back, so on your spine. Press down your lower back, and then release, just to create the, that arch. So down, release. Down, release. Down, 
release, down, release, down, stay there, squeeze everything there. Can you squeeze even, adding a little squeeze to your pelvic floor? Inhale and exhale, release. Bring your knees into your chest, grab the back of your legs, rock and roll to come to a seated pose. When you come to a seated pose, come uh, right leg in front of the left leg, bring your hands to your knee, and let's do cat and cow and, and see the pose. Inhale, arch your back, gaze up. Exhale, round your back, chin to your chest. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale, chest is up. Breathe here. And then you exhale, round your back, chin to your chest. Breathe here. Arms are extended. And come back to center. Shoulders back, spine long. And let's find tabletop. Let me organize my hair. This tabletop, you, it, yes, shoulders and wrists aligned, knees and hips aligned. So, like this, tabletop. And let's do another cow and cow. It doesn't hurt, it's nice. Inhale, arch your back, gaze up. Exhale, round your back, chin to your chin. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, stay up, arching your back, press into your head. And as you exhale, round your back, chin to your chest. Now, tabletop, bring the right foot forward between your legs and keep the left knee back. Solo your foot to the right side and hands, uh, and you are up into your hands inside of your front foot. Arms are extended. So my invitation here is to press to your hands and just uh, uh, release the right hand. Press your hand gently into the inner side of the right knee and gently move to open and then close. Open and close. Open and close. Two more of this one. Open and close. Open and close. Stay here. Hips down. Chest is up, and then come back with the knee back, and we do the other side this time. Left foot is between your hands, hips are down, and then send the foot to the left, hands inside of your front foot, and stay with right hand in your base, left hand you twist and place it inside of the left leg, and then you just press very gently, listen into your body, and then you close. You play, press, and you close. You open and close. Open and close. Two more. And then come back to center, plant your hands into the mat. This fine child postures together, open your knees wide, hips to your heels, bring your forehead to the mat. Let's come to Ujjayi breath. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the nose, and as you constrain, constrain your throat, that will help you to stay more within your practice. Let's practice this. Inhale through the nose, constrain your throat, exhale through the nose. One more time. Inhale, exhale. And then next inhale up into your hand, stay in child pose, with your hips, and you just bring the right arm to the side, left hand on top of the right hand, modify child pose, inhale, exhale, bring your forehead to the mat, feeling the left side stretch, breathe here. Ujjayi breath, inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose. And then next inhale, come back to center, inhale, and then you exhale, you go to the other side. Left hand to the side, right hand on top of the left hand. Bring your forehead to the mat. I mean, if your forehead cannot be on the mat, it's fine. You just do what is best for you. Feel the right side stretch. Inhale. Exhale. 
Then exhale, come back to center. Your arms are extended, your forehead is into the mat. Press to your hands and inhale, come to tabletop and find your downward face. The first downward facing the, of the class in the hips up and back. And when the first downward facing dog of the class, I invite you to just walk your dog. You bend one knee, extend the other one, and just, just playing around, moving your neck. And come back to steel, downward facing dog. And then come to your toes, and then heels to the mat. Come to your toes, heels to the mat. Come to your toes, stay there, breathing, pressing to your hands. Bend the knees, inhale, and as you exhale, gently walk to the front of the mat. Find the strap, if you have the strap, if you don't have a strap, you can do it without the strap. If you have the strap, bring the strap behind you. Grab the strap with your hands about um, shoulder distance apart, palm facing forward. Bend the knees, relax your neck, your spine down, inhale, bring your arms up. This could be done without a strap. Stay here and breathe. If you don't have the strap, you just interlay your finger and you bring your arms up. Just find the place. Stay here and breathe. Keep sending the, the arms forward, forward. They are up and forward. Relax there. Now press to the sole of your feet and then slowly you inhale, bring yourself up. When you are up, keep the strap, sending the arms back, inhale. And as you exhale, release, bring the strap to the side. Inhale, bring your arms up, stay where you are, you just, and exhale, hands to her center. Let's take another moment here to connect with yourself, to connect your body, your soul, and your mind. Remember, this is your own experience. And from this connection, your own connection, I invite you to make an intention for the rest of the practice. You have an intention, bring that to your mind. If not, just connect with yourself, connect with your center of your heart. Feel the love. This is the heart chakra, your energy of love. Just feel that energy of love. Smile. And then bring the intention, your own intention to your mind and let's all breathe as a community to seal your own intention. Let's inhale, open mouth, exhale. Nice. Inhale, bring your arms up. Exhale, hands to her center. Just make sure you are in the front of the mat. And we will do two low lunges salutations. Just breathe and move them. I will be just cueing. I, mean, I will be doing the practice, uh, but um, my intention is just cue that you listen to your body. You do it at your own pace. We all meet again in, uh, here in Mountain Pose. Let's start. Inhale, bring your arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart, fold forward, relax down. Inhale, halfway, leave your shoulders are back, long spine. Exhale, plant your hands into the mat, send the right foot back, low lunge, inhale. Exhale, downward facing down. Inhale, high plank. Drop the knees and come all the way down into the mat. Exhale. Inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, forehead to the mat. Inhale, tabletop or high plane. Exhale, downward facing down. Inhale, bring the right leg forward. Exhale, back foot forward, fold forward. Inhale, halfway left. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, mountain pose, wrist high. Exhale, hands to her center, other side. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Fold forward, relax down. Inhale, halfway lift, shoulders back. Exhale, plant your hands into the mat. Send the left foot back. Inhale. Exhale, downward facing down. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, drop the knees. Come all the way down into the mat. Forehead into the mat. Inhale, cobra pose. 
Excel, for head to the mat. Inhale, table top or high plank. Exhale, downward facing down. Inhale, left foot forward. Low lunge. Exhale, back, leg forward, fall forward. Inhale, half we lift. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, mountain pose, reach high. Exhale, hands to heart seat. Let's do um, sun salutation. Inhale, that, that was low lunge salutation. Now we will do sun salutation. Inhale, bring your arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart, fall forward, relax down. Inhale, half we lift, shoulders back, long spine, lock neck, gaze down. Exhale, plant your hands into the mat, send both feet back to high plank. In high plank, I invite you to keep the legs extended or drop the knees. For Chaturanga, chip forward, mid plank. Inhale, upward facing dog, shoulders back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, come to your toes, bend the knees, look forward, walk a flow to the front of the mat. Inhale, half we lift. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, mountain pose, reach high. Exhale, hands to her center. Let's do it again. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart, fall forward, relax down. Inhale, half we lift, your shoulders are back. Exhale, plant your hands into the mat, send your feet back, high plane, same thing, drop them. Actually, let's all drop all the way down into your belly, your forehead, into the mat. Inhale, cactus hand to the side, locus pose, chest is up, arms are up, legs are up, inhale. Exhale, bring your forehead to the mat, plant your hands into the mat, tabletop, inhale, or high plane. Exhale, downward facing down. Inhale, come to your toes, bend the knees, look forward, walk a flow to the front of the mat. Inhale, half we lift. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, mountain pose, breathe high. Exhale, hands to her center. <coughs> Let's continue flowing and we will have poses for your legs, stretching legs and hips. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart, fall forward, relax down. Inhale, half we lift. Exhale, plant your hands into the mat, send your feet back, high plank. Drop the knees, come all the way down into your belly, your forehead into the mat. Fingertips to the side, elbows are bent, modify cobra pose. Inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, twist to one side. Inhale, up. Exhale, twist to the other side. Inhale. Exhale, twist, inhale up, exhale, twist to the other side, inhale up, stay there, exhale, bring your forehead to the mat. Let's create a pillow with your forearms as you bend the knees and then you windshield wiper the legs. Extend the leg, stay the left leg long to the mat and you stay with the, in the left forearm. And you twist to the right to grab your foot. Okay, you have two options. If grabbing your foot is not an option, then the, keep that leg extended. The idea is to stretch the front of the uh, right leg. So you feel already right there, stay there. Or maybe you need to grab your foot. As soon as you grab your foot, come down, your forehead is into the mat. So maybe for that, some of you, this is already stretched, so stay there. But you need a little more challenge, lift the right knee. Forehead is into the mat. Inhale. And as you exhale, you release to do the other side. Now, right forearms is your pillow. And you bend the left knee. Bring your forehead to the mat. Maybe this is enough for you. Or you turn to the side to grab your foot. If you grab your foot, you bring your foot to your glutes. It's an option. And then maybe this is enough for you. Or you lift the knee. Remember, you stay in the place where it's okay for your body. Listen to your body. Inhale, exhale, release down. Plant your hands into the mat. Pray yourself to tabletop or high plank. Inhale, exhale, downward facing down. Let's inhale, bring the right leg high. Exhale, bend the knee, open your hips. Stay here, press into your hand. 
try to keep the knee back, opening the hips a little more. And exhale, we do the proud pigeon. Right knee, how is that the right wrist? Extend the back leg, your hands frame the front foot, opening your chest. You are in proud pigeon. Squeeze the left glute if that's uh, available for you. Breathe here. Here in proud pigeon, you can stay here or bend the knee. And maybe here is enough for you. Or oh, with the right hand, you bring it in front of you and you reach for your foot with the left hand to feel the stretch a little more. Breathe here. Inhale. And as you exhale, you release. Plant your hands into the mat to find your downward facing down. And we will do the other side. Inhale, bring the left leg high. Exhale, bend the knee, open your hips. Try to bend the knee a little more back to feel that stretch. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, left knee to the left wrist to proud pigeon. Extend the back, the back leg long. Hands to frame the front thigh. Bring your chest up. Breathe here. For some of you, this is enough. Some of you could bend the back knee and bring the left hand in front of you. And this is enough. Or you can reach for your foot and bring your foot to you. Breathe here. Inhale. And as you exhale, both hands into the mat. Find you downward facing down. Listen. We are going to do, we are going to Flow forward or walk forward, but to come back, to come to yogi squat like this. Inhale, come to your toes, bend the knees, look forward. Yogi squat to the front of the mat. Just walk or flow to the front of the mat. Heels in, toes out, and you are in yogi squat. Stay where you are. I just turn here that you can see me. Heels in, toes out, and your hands inside of your legs, and you press your forearm. With your forearm, you press the knee or the elbow. Let's use elbow pressing the inner side of the leg. So if this is not happening to you, two things. Grab a block and sit into the block. Or maybe you have uh, something to lift. Maybe you can even bend your mat or a, a blanket and sit just like this to lift your heel. That's so fun. Let's stay here for a moment. Just find the place that feels good for you. And let's breathe here. Keep pressing to open your hip. Or maybe you are just here. It's fine here. Breathe here. Inhale. And as you exhale, come to your forward fold. You are in the front of the mat in forward fold. And stay heel in to south. You come to fall forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale. Yogi squat. You don't go too deep. Uh, 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 listen to your body. You go as far as you can in your yogi squat. Then inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, yogi squat. Again, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, yogi squat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fall forward. This time, inhale, mountain pose, wrist high. Exhale, hands to her center. Nice. Let's come. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart, fall forward, relax down. Inhale, halfway lift, your shoulders are back. Exhale, plant your hands into the mat, send your feet back, high plank. Here, your option, keep legs extended or drop the knees. Cheat forward, chaturanga, mid-plank, inhale, upward facing dog or cobra, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, bring the right leg high, exhale, low lunge, foot between your hands. So find your foundation, inhale, crescent lunge, reach your arms up. So stay with your arms up. Or send the arms back to interlay your fingers, extending your arms down, away from your lower back. So find that place. Here, stay here or drop the back knee and up. Down, 
and now. And we do it for 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Inhale, arms up, reach, both legs extended, and exhale, bend the front knee, your hands to frame the front foot, and let's stretch the legs. So you can, your hands could be on your fingertips, or you have blocks, you can use blocks to frame the front foot, and then extend the front leg, bend the knee. Extend the front leg, bend the knee. Extend the front leg, bend the knee. Extend, back leg is completely extended. Extend the front leg, knee, bend the knee, extend the front leg, inhale, and as you exhale, fall forward to the front leg and breathe here. Back, to try to press in the heel to the mat, and you press your heel, your toes on the mat, the front leg. The back leg, you are, you are trying to bring the heel to the mat, just creating that action. And here the same thing, heel and toes, big toe pressing into the mat. Inhale, half, bend the front knee, low lunge, plant your hands into the mat, downward facing down. Check the difference in both in the side. And then we do the other side. Inhale, bring the left leg high, exhale, low lunge, foot between your hands. Find your foundation, inhale, crescent lunge, reach your arms up. So you can stay here with your arms up, or you bend, send the arms back, interlay your fingers, arms away from your lower back. So stay here, or bend the back knee down and up. Down and up. And we do it for eight, seven, six, it's a little balance. Five for me. Four. Three. Two. One. Release your hands. Inhale, bring your arms up. Extend the front leg. Breathe here. Both legs extended. And as you exhale, bend the front knee. Your hands to frame the front foot. You are in your fingertips. Extend the front leg. Bend the knee, keep the back leg completely extended, and action. The action is heels to the mat. Extend and bend. Extend and bend. Keep breathing at your own pace. One more inhale, extend, stay there, exhale, fall forward over the front leg, just breathe there. Feel the stretch in the front leg. Back legs completely extended. Inhale, bend the front knee, low lunge. Plant your hands into the mat. Downward facing down. Inhale, bring the right leg high. Exhale, low lunge, foot between your hands. Swing the back heel down. Inhale, warrior two. Open to the side. Gaze forward. Squeeze the back glute. Inhale, start pose. Heels in, toes out, arms are up. Exhale, hands together, horse pose, bend the knees and the hips back. Inhale, up, squeeze your glute. Exhale, down. And we do it for eight. Seven, squeeze. Six. Five. Four, three, two, one. Stay up, squeezing, inhale, and as you exhale, plant arms to the side, palm facing down, feet parallel to each other, inhale, chest up, and exhale, wide forward, fall, relax there. Take the time here just to breathe. Let's twist that, that spine. Inhale, halfway lift. Left hand under your face. Extend the right arm up. Inhale, and exhale on the side. Right hand under your face. Inhale, left arm up. 
inhale and you, you exhale both hands into the mat walk to the front of the mat to find your low lunge downward facing down other side inhale bring the left leg high exhale low lunge foot between your hands swing the back heel down inhale warrior two open into the side stay here breathing squeeze the right glute gaze forward inhale start pose heels in to south arms up exhale horse pose inhale up exhale horse pose and we do it for eight seven six five four three two one stay up squeezing inhale exhale arms to the side palm facing up inhale chest up white forward four relax four inhale halfway lift and just skip the other side the, the twist and just come to the front of the back downward facing down inhale come to your toes bend the knees look forward walk a floor to the front of the mat inhale halfway lift exhale fall forward inhale mountain pose wrist high exhale hands to her center let's do a balance pose today will be just oh actually Let's do it with the strap. You have the strap. If not, you do it without the strap. You have the strap. Bend the right knee. Bring the sole of your foot to the strap. And the knee is bent. Left arm to the side. You can stay here with the knee to the front. Send it to the right or extend the leg. I need to shorten this. Stay here. Don't look at me. Just try to find your balance yourself without looking at me. Inhale and as you exhale, you release. Another best one doing balance pose. So right leg is your base. We do the other side. Got the strap, knee to the front or to the side, or maybe extending the leg to the side, arm to the side, and breathe. Inhale. And as you exhale, really. Make sure you are in the front of the mat. Oh, sorry. And then bend the knees. Chair pose. Stay in chair pose just to feel your chair pose. And slowly come down. Solo your feet together. Open your knees wide. Let's do some core pose. Uh, some core work. Bring your hands to hold your head. And you bring your chest up and down. Up and down. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, exhale, release down. Bring your knees into your chest, extend the legs to the sky. So um, you stay one leg down and then down and down. We do it for eight. Scissor your legs, <laughs> what I was trying to say. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Knees into your chest, grab the back of your legs, rock and roll to come to a seated pose. When you come to a seated pose, lean back, extend your arms forward. And then you turn to one side, then to center, then to the other side. Eight. Smile. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And now come to see the pose. It's time to relax. Right leg is in front of the left leg inhale bring your arms up exhale twist to the right spine long gaze back 
the next inhale come back to center and the left knee is bent with the <coughs> left hand tight gra grab the sole of your foot right arm grab your thigh just remember this is right arm left arm left arm grab the sole of your foot right arm grab your thigh bring the chest to you to your legs and the legs to you that's important thing is the spine is long so bring create that action of chest forward and if you want more feeling, you bring your foot up. If you want less, you bring your foot down. And close your eyes and just rock your baby to one side and then the other side. Keep sending this chest forward, spine long, breathe here. Open your eyes with the right hand, grab the outside of your right foot, extend the leg, bend the knee, extend the leg, bend the knee. Extend the leg, stay there, breathe, keep sending the chest forward, inhale, and exhale. We do the other side. With the right hand, you grab right arm, grab the sole of the left foot, left arm, grab your thigh, chest is forward, spine is long. Foot up, if you want to feel more, feel down, if you want to feel less, keep that chest forward, spine long, and you move to one side and then the other side. Close your eyes. Continue. Connect with that feeling, the sensation in your hips, what a nice sensation here, breathe. And then open your eyes, left hand grab the outside of the left foot, you extend the leg to the side, and you bend the knee, you extend the leg, you bend the knee, you extend the leg, stay there, inhale, exhale, release. Uh, let's come to figure four in the seated pose. Spine is long, right ankle about the left knee, press to your hand. Uh, so you want to feel more, you bring that foot close to you. You want to feel less, you bring the foot away from you. Just breathe here. And then the other side. Figure four and the other side. Left ankle about the right knee, press to your hand to keep the spine long. Breathe here. Inhale, and as you exhale, slowly release down. <coughs> Feet about hip distance apart. Windshield wiper your legs, one side, then the other side. One side, the other side. Continue on your own. Feel your breathing as your inhales and your exhales, that you be aware of that. Inhale, exhale. And then next time that you come set to center, inhale, and stay here. So here, uh, <coughs> I invite you to bring the knees to your chest, open your knees, find happy baby, grab your feet from inside or from outside, and then massage your lower back. Now keep the one knee bent, extend the other leg long. And then we exchange. And then bend the knee, put this into your chest, knees together, send the two knees to the left, gaze to the right, supine twist, breathe here. Two rounds of breath together, inhale, exhale. Again, inhale, exhale. Now bring your knees into your chest, we do the other side. Send the knees to the right, gaze to the left. Inhale. Exhale. Again, inhale. Exhale. Your eyes are closed. Bring your knees into your chest. Bring your forehead to your knee. If that's okay with you, you have to feel the back stretch. And then extend the legs to the sky. With your hands, grab the back of your legs. And try to bring the legs close to you, stretching. Solo your feet together. Bring your hands to hold your feet. And then press your feet to your chest as the knees come to the side. Breathe here. It's okay the lower back come up from the back. Breathe here. 
inhale and then you exhale release again bring your forehead to your knee that's okay you, you inhale and then you exhale find your savasana extend the legs extend the arms to the side close your eyes and breathe So, if you have the time to stay longer in your savasana, stay here and ignore my words. But you need to continue with the day. I invite you to move your finger, your toes, your head to one side and then the other side. Inhale, good morning, stress, extend your arms overhead, extend your legs. And as you exhale, you bend the knees and you roll to the side that you prefer. You stay here for a moment. And then slowly come to a seated pose. Take a moment here with your eyes closed, connecting again with you, with the sensation in your body, sensations of your mind, how you feel. Be aware of you. And then open your eyes. Inhale, bring your arms up, gaze up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, bring your arms up. Exhale, hands to your third eye. Namaste. Thank you, thank you, thank you for practicing with me. And for thank you, thank you. And if you like this practice, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. See you next time.